stuff here, it would be like, uh, beautiful, thank you very much, <clears throat> I got it, there is stress, stress comes from within, and when I use my mind properly, um, there's no more stress, beautiful. And at that point I would look at the teacher and say, thank you very much, I, I get you. Uh, how in heaven do I use my mind properly so I stop grabbing, grasping, and rejecting? And that's where it gets complicated. Even more difficult than realizing there is stress or that the stress from comfort with it, which is, you know, if you really try to realize those two truths, it's already deep. <coughs> But where it gets really, really deep is once you have understood there is stress, comes from within, if I use my mind properly, it will stop. That stops the stress. The difficult, difficult, very difficult thing is this fourth one. The teacher says, there is a prescription. There is a prescription by which you will stop the stress. And that prescription is called the path, the middle way. It, the, the, the teachers call that the middle way because it avoids all extremes. The physical extremes and the mental extremes. It's called the middle way, the path. Specifically, so you can uh, look for that on the internet and study on it, it is called the Eightfold Path. The Eightfold Path. The Four Noble Truths, there is stress. The stress co comes from within. Our mind trying to grab and grasp or to fight, to reject. We're always trying to attract what we like, but reject what we don't like. That polarity is the opposite of the oneness, the oneness with the universe, the harmony of understanding uh, the universe. So as long as we see everything in duality, I like this, I don't like this, I want this, I don't want that, we're always looking at uh, one coin that has two sides. One is attraction, the other one is rejection. Well, that coin is called grasping. When you're trying to avoid something, you're grasping the opposite of that one thing that you're trying to avoid. So grasp, uh, uh, trying to grasp and trying to reject is the same thing. So the path to the cessation of suffering, of stress, is the prescription, the medication that the teacher uh, offers. And uh, in saying, you follow the path, you live your life, you realize the path, and you will stop suffering. You will attain something called nirvana, or nibbana, which is not a place in heaven or in hell, or in, if it's not a physical place, it is, uh, to describe it with a simple words, it's a mental state. Nirvana, Ibana, bliss, enlightenment is nothing more than a mental state in which we find ourselves once we follow the path which creates the cessation of, of the suffering that comes from inside and that is, well, as we all agree by now, I hope, uh, in existence everywhere. Nirvana, true happiness, is derived from the understanding, the peace, that comes from wisdom. Understanding existence just the way it is, without any mental prejudice, uh, without any grasping or any rejection, just any accepting, without conformity, because this over here, all we're doing here, trying to understand the, the Four Noble Truths, trying to be happy, trying to make sense of everything that surrounds us and make sense of the, the thoughts that uh, 
uh, pop in our brain, in, in, in our mind, that is not conforming. We're trying to understand, we're trying to free ourselves from something that you may have uh, heard mention, samsara, which is a cycle, uh, some people call it the cycle of uh, uh, death and rebirth. I would say samsara, not to complicate it too much, would be the, the stress of existence. That's what I would say. We're trying to, we're trying to eliminate this over here. Once we can, we can point because many times we don't even know it's there. Because as I said before, we try to avoid looking at stress in the eye. So once we look at stress and we go, okay, there is stress. I'm not going to deny it. And we're smart enough to understand that it comes from within, not from without. It means that we're going to stop uh, chasing a bigger car or. A, uh, a secure job or you know whatever uh, because we understand that even if we had all that we would still find a way to uh, uh, hurt in our mind once we understand it comes from within then we come to the realization that well if it comes from our mind maybe if I use my mind properly I'll stop stressing out and finally the teacher says yes you can do that you can understand there is stress, understand it comes from within, understand that you can't stop, follow the path. Live your life according to the Eightfold Path and you will attain the state of mind where you don't stress out anymore. And uh, that is the Four Noble Truths. If I got this uh, clear in your mind and you go, wow, now this is something different maybe we can take this to the next step and then uh, break this path, the eightfold path, the eight factors of this path apart. So maybe you can try to uh, start walking the path, uh, walking the walk, and try to attain this uh, state of mental uh, wisdom, understanding, peace, and happiness. Um, and I will say this to uh, end this uh, little talk. The title on YouTube that you saw that said it's the grasping idiot is just a summary of this simple uh, understanding of the Four Noble Truths. They're simple but very profound. Stress exists. It comes from within. It comes from grasping. It's the grasping. The grasping or the rejecting, which is the same, the same thing. The grasping in our mind is where the stress comes from. And that stress will stop once we follow the Eightfold Path. And uh, that is it. If you want to know more, you're going to have to look at the next one that uh, Specifically, he's going to talk about the eight factors of this path. The pill, the prescription, the medication, that's going to get you right here. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, there is a, uh, an email address that you can uh, go to. There is a uh, meetup group that you can go to, and I hope to hear from you, and I'll be delighted to share more and more of these beautiful, uh, deep, truths about existence. Wow.